Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to do a quick demo um, on how to extract metadata out of a mark record using mark edit. Uh, I'm going to use the mark split function, um, specifically the export delimited function in the mark split utility in mark edit. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your mark edit and then go to mark split. Uh, it may open up uh, on the mark split tab or another tab, but we are going to go over here to the export delimited tab. Uh, you first want to grab your source file, your mark records. Uh, I'm just going to grab some mark records that I have from a PyMark demo from a couple years ago at an Alex workshop. So I still have those. Um, then you're going to go ahead and uh, create the file name. So we're just going to call this test mark2 because I've already done this. Okay. Um, and then we're, you need to select the delimiter and we're going to grab a comma and then we need to start adding uh, which fields and subfields we want this processor to grab, um, you know, our metadata from within the mark record. So we want to grab language data um, out of the mark record so we can analyze what kinds of languages are being processed in our mark record, um, or noted in our mark record. So the you know, language is recorded in fixed fields uh, in the 008, um, and specifically the 35th position of the 008. So to do this, we go ahead and we add the 008 as the field, and then we know we want the 35th position, and in the 35th position we encode three characters, ENG, uh, SPA, uh, FRE, things like that, so we add a colon, and three to grab those three characters. I'm going to hit the plus sign to add that. We can see the little command that we've that we've uh, that we've got going here, a little script. Um, and then we're going to add, um, let's see, the 041 subfield A, uh, 100 uh, subfield A, 100 subfield E. Let's see, 245. Oops, wrong place. 245 subfield A, 245 subfield C, uh, let's grab the 546 subfield A, and the 700 subfield A, and 700 subfield E. Okay. And then once you've got all your scripts in there, all your fields and subfields, we then hit process and we get the confirmation that the data has been exported into the file that you've determined. So let's go take a look at that file. Um, I always put my mark records in my desktop. Uh, so Let's see, there it is, test mark two. And there we can see our beautiful exported metadata. Well, it's hard to process this, uh, so we're gonna just dump this into OpenRefine and take a look at it in a spreadsheet. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up OpenRefine and browse to test mark two. Select that file, hit next. Go, you want to choose how to parse it, and we're going to parse it as a comma delimited file. And so here we can see all of our data. Separate it out, and we can go ahead and create project. And there, we can start to do really interesting things with this. It was a very small file, um, so you know we can look at more. Uh, there weren't really a lot of records in it, um, so. Yeah, I mean, if you've got more extensive data, you'll be able to do a lot more interesting things. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, good luck and happy cataloging.